Jack Hughes totally surprised me in this analysis of his 2022-2023 goals, all 42 of them, because he scored more goals in more ways than I was expecting. Now, last time when we looked at Matthews, we saw a clear 80-20 relationship where Matthews was scoring 80% of his goals from 20% of his patterns. And I was expecting to see something similar with Hughes, but I was surprised to see a more even distribution. He's scoring on breakaways and takeaways, reminding me of Datsuk, but he's also scoring in boring and innovative ways. He's using tried and true shooting through traffic technique, along with a new style of shooting that I think will force new technique for goaltenders. So that's what we'll cover today in this video. I'm gonna show you his one tactic for scoring a surprising amount of five hole goals and the mechanics that will enable that tactic. So getting into the different patterns that we see Hughes has, the first one that really stood out to me was the five hole goals. If we look at all of his five hole goals, he had 14 five hole goals. And there's some other goals that you could classify. There's maybe 17 that we could classify from these breakaways and rushes that were not five hole goals, but he used the same tactic. He had a lot of breakaways and rushes. That comes down to really using some of the tuck mechanics that we're gonna talk about. This is that innovative style of shooting. But on the other end of the spectrum, he had at least 12 goals that were shot through traffic. And then the last bit, which is he's kind of the king of chaos. He is scoring a lot of goals from creating chaos, things that are behind the net, things that are coming from takeaways, that soup like steals, and then empty netters. So this doesn't all add up to 42 because some goals, it was just impossible for me to classify into one or the other. So for example, there are some five hole goals that are in the breakaway and rushes. So that was a, another interesting thing to me is that there's so much overlap in these four patterns. So let's look at first the five hole goals. So a reminder that he scored 14 of these goals and the tactic that he's using is he's using lateral movement and he's typically using either an outside edge or an edge drag to get the goalie to move laterally. So Hughes's main technique and tactic is to get himself moving laterally across the net and using that to cause the goalie to have to push, and that opens up the five hole. You'll see this time and time again, so I'll show it again here, where he's coming in straight, and then he creates lateral movement across, forcing the goalie to have to push, forcing the goalie to have to open up there. So here it is again, coming in on the attack, moving laterally, goalie has to push to go with him, and uh, that opens up space underneath here, so here he is on the breakaway, here he is moving laterally, here he is scoring five hole as the goalie is thinking I have to move this way. So there's like three examples and, and like I said, there's 14 examples of that. And now let's talk a little bit about the mechanics behind it. As you know at Train 2.0, what we like to do is we like to learn from the best. We like to learn what's working in a game, and then we isolate the patterns, which is really just the mechanics stack, and then we go down to the mechanics level. So let's take a look at this. So in the five hole goal is typically an outside edge or an edge drag. And what this looks like is typically he has speed on the attack, then he's hitting the outside edge, and he might be using a corkscrew to balance himself. Now. Why do we have a language for these mechanics? Because most of these mechanics are not typically taught. And when you have a language for what's going on, then you can isolate that mechanic. And then if a player is deficient, they can actually isolate that and do reps and drills to get better. And that's what we like to train at Train 2.0. And that is really what the downhill skating system is all about, is how to systematically break down these mechanics so that you can learn them. So the mechanic that a lot of players struggle with is this one right here. If you pay really close attention to Hughes's right foot, it is that he'll step and he'll get to his outside edge. Now that might sound really basic to a lot of people, but the thing is, is a lot of players think that they are on their outside edge when they're actually flat. And I know that sounds so simple and so silly, but it's actually true. And this is why video feedback is so important. And that's why you need to get video feedback and you need to train with video feedback to see, am I actually getting on my outside edge? Am I thinking I'm on my outside edge, but I'm not, right? And we actually wanna look at that. So this outside edge here enables 
the lateral movement. Not only does it enable the lateral movement, but it also causes the goalie to think, oh, I see this edge here, which means that he's probably moving laterally, which means I'm going to need to push to move across. Now, they might not think all that out loud, but that's what's going on subconsciously to them. And then this is a great example of how, even though he's not using his outside edge mechanic, he's using this edge drag. And again, the effect that it creates is that he's moving laterally across the goalie, where the goalie has to move, and then he's able to just tuck it around. So this is what I was talking about, where it's not a five hole goal, but it's a breakaway, and he's using the same tactics. And here's one final example where you can see he's moving laterally and he's causing the goalie to have to move laterally as well, opening up the five hole and tucking it in there. So next up is Hughes shooting through traffic. And this was what really surprised me was that of his all of his goals, 12 of them were shooting through traffic. And what that mechanic actually looked like is that he's often shooting from two feet.